Hi, Brad Silver Lining Daydreams. Today in this video, we want to give you a real practical setup and review of the Eero 6 Wi-Fi system. And if you look behind me, you'll see this brick wall where the fireplace is. So because of that and the tri-level layout of our house, we've always had issues with drops and slower speeds. So this is supposed to overcome that. So let's see if it really works. So we're gonna give you some speeds at the end. So this is the Eero 6 dual band mesh Wi-Fi system, which is supposed to accommodate speeds up to 500 megabytes per second and cover up to 3000 square feet. It comes with an included wired Eero 6 and one wireless Eero 6 extender. And uh, well, anyhow, let's just get started. Step one is to download the app, unplug your modem and your router, anything else connected. And then you begin with the modem unplugged, open the app and follow along. And then they talk about securing your app. Here I am going into the app store to locate and download the Eero Home Wi-Fi system app. It's really easy, just follow the simple prompts that they give you. Once you open the Eero app, you're going to get a couple options on how to create your Eero account, and we chose to use our Amazon account. Now we're going to disconnect the wires from the router power coming from the modem. I think I'll keep everything else for now plugged in. We mistakenly reused the older yellow ethernet cable, which worked fine by the way. I don't think I needed to unplug this from the modem. So basically we're connecting the modem to the Eero 6 with the provided ethernet cable. So later we went back and we replaced it with the new matching white ethernet cable. So we need to plug in the power on the Eero. Now the modem needs to be reconnected to power. We won't be needing these because we're going to run everything wireless now. So now in the app here, I just need to allow Bluetooth. So it's looking for a gateway, it says. We'll call this the family room. It says to give your ear a Wi-Fi name and a Wi-Fi password. It says to use your existing Wi-Fi name and password so you don't lose any connectivity while you're connecting devices. So I will do that now. It says that your family room Eero 6 is up and running. Now we're ready to add another Eero device. It says place your Eero device centrally. If you have a dead spot, try to place your new Eero device between the dead spot and another Eero device to ensure a strong connection. Yeah, so here's our family room. And then we're gonna go upstairs into the living room area and I think that's where we'll put the other Euro 6. I have this feeling I should have ordered another one, but we'll see how this works. So this is our kitchen here. And if I keep going this way, bedroom's up there. So let's come back around. So I think we'll put it right up here. I think we're gonna put it on the piano here. I think that makes the most sense. I tried doing this without my glasses. And then we'll plug this in. Whoa! I hope it works. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. Put in your hero device. Okay, I already did that. That's where I put it. So basically this just says that the Eero 6 is a smart hub, so there's no need to buy any separate hubs for each device, such as if we add cameras or compatible lights and more. Connect to Amazon. Okay, we'll have to sign in. So I'm gonna do a speed test. So it says 259 for the download and 22.4 for the upload. Let's try it one more time. Let's try it up here. So it says 283 megabytes per second for the download and 22.6 megabytes per second for the upload. So that's way better than it was, um, but it's not the 500 that I think it should be getting. By the way, our channel is about money saving, home improvement, DIY, short term renting our home and our RV. 
and traveling and lots more. So there you have it, a real life practical setup and review of the Eero 6. So I'm super happy. Um, we've been having no problems whatsoever. We've been having lickety split internet. Time will tell how well this holds up. Um, by the way, we were paying $5 a month to rent the router through Spectrum. So it'll take about three years to pay for itself, the investment in this. So time will tell again how well that's going to hold up. So that's the real question. But we'll update you down the road. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a like, subscribe, and share a video. It helps us to be found. And as always, thanks for watching. Nice work. I have a few top things for you to try on your new Echo. Let's get started.